Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Chef Life. This is episode 23. Let's get straight in. I'm probably going to have a shorter episode than normal. Uh, recovering from COVID, got a lot going on, trying to catch up on some work as well as I spent a lot of time in bed here of late. Well, anyway, uh, last time we finished, I think, uh, Kasim's upgrade track. So let's see if that's the case. Well, now I think we know everything there is to know about seafood. And I make a great team. All those dishes we prepared have given me lots of ideas for my own recipe. Thanks again. Ooh, and he already wants to talk to us again. Those dishes gave me all the inspiration I need for my own recipe. I've gone back to something I'd started at school. But because of my, of my student job, I didn't have the time to work more on it. But now I have the time. So there's this dish I want to bake. But I want to do it differently for how it's traditionally prepared. It will be an improved version, plated in our own style. I just know we can come up with something really unique. Now I'm guess guessing that based on uh, prior acquired experience, that Kasim should have gone straight to his next maximum level which is why we also had the immediate back to back on the uh, on the request and yes so he is now level 14 all three of them are now level 14 all three of them now have that ability to do pretty much everything right to just before the end just shy of plating essentially and uh, even Jiro is almost done maxing out that level 14. He's got just a sliver left, and then he will be done. It should, at that point, unlock his... So uh, I would assume in this next day, Jiro's going to want to talk to us uh, as he's going to have his next quest. But I'm not worried about any of those three short-term. Uh, what I'm going to be primarily worried about is getting our regulars up and pushing us right into 20 customers i'm gonna give it probably one day at 15 make sure that that goes smoothly and then push into 20. change coming to our menu as we had three new recipes learned which is definitely a record but the beef and potatoes is going to take over as our bistro recipe on the menu as we try to grow and change and bring others along as well and then of course the two new ones that we also learned that are gonna you know be a one and done kind of thing is the seafood risotto and then also the asparagus risotto which have both been learned and are ready for us uh, we have one more that's still uh we need to pick up on the charcuterie uh, i'm not sure how to say that one but uh, i suppose it's italian charcuterie i don't know but that risotto is going to be the one we're going to learn first thing in the morning. Once we've got that done, I'm probably going to move on to a second recipe, as I would imagine uh, our staff, whoever's helping us out, is going to do whatever prep work needs to happen rather quickly for us and, and easily for us. We're not going to have to worry about it too much ourselves. Already beginning preparations for that recipe that we are set to learn uh, we'll see how quickly we can get through. Single items, no doubles. Are we going to need anything out of here? No. But we do need a couple of things from here. There we go. Medium slice, I've already confirmed. Okay. And I've already got this on the, the stove ahead of time. That's everything we need. That's everything we need. And we just need to cover it. First day, let's go ahead and speed that one up. Do we need any spices? We need some mustard. Chopping board. Getting through 
each of these items that we need. Now, while we have the time to get here. And I don't think we need that one to be... do need that soup in the early stage. That's of course what we need to get it started. How close is that to being done? Close enough. first phase we need this guy, we need that guy, we need this guy, and we will stir. Okay, that'll make three. So this initially made four. Let's get that cleaned up. in, stir it, turn that heat down for a moment, let's go ahead and clean up the mess of the extra bouillon. Step we've got to do anyway, might as well do it alongside everything we're doing. Okay, go ahead and turn that heat back up. Stir it one last time. And let's plating. Plating is all that's left. Take all three of those. We can plate it all three times. Get a head start on the uh, XP necessary for this guy. That doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look good either. So we're gonna see what we can do here. I don't know if we need a bowl. Let's see what we can do with that. It's something, it'll work. Sometimes what I'm doing works great, sometimes it's just there. Now I do have help in the kitchen, they've been here for a little bit, so we're gonna need to get them uh, going on things quite soon. If I can assign it well enough, then I can definitely get on with making a second recipe uh, today. Have anybody here at the prep station? Oh, it's still early, okay. Is in and ready to help, so looks like Prepare four of those and that's not something I oh, I like that you can choose how well done it is. Those can each be made to order. Uh probably want eight wild mushroom sauce to get us through the day. Got it, chef. And then we'll definitely want Very well, chef. At least 6 shrimp risottos. And that's already two recipes prepped. 
ahead of time. So let's go ahead and get that off of there. And let's, hey, research table. And what is next? Traditional Gratin Dauphinois. Chef. Sure. Only four ingredients for this. I can't wait to start the evening service. Our customers will be blown away. We have added in now. Potato slices going in here. And I'm afraid to turn the heat up on this one, but we'll do it. I think it would boil pretty quick. But we're gonna stand here and stir. Throw out. Oh! Hello, forgot to add another ingredient. It still took it. That only got us one though. Today really doesn't have to be perfect. It's just get it in, get it done. I learned a new technique for this task. Baking dish. And it's got to go in the oven. T2. It'll make four. And those four will be ready for plating. That's it, huh? It's still pretty dang early in the day. I feel like I could almost get a third recipe going and done. Ooh, that doesn't take, huh? That doesn't take like that. So... Well, that's disappointing. We're gonna... Have to do those from scratch day of, but obviously nice somebody's shit. gonna be able to quickly and easily put that together. Uh, if we can, we need to cancel. There we go. Okay, so nothing we can do on that one at all. I think we might end up with the same scenario no here, but we'll get one made and see what happens anything. Well, there's already eight of those. I don't need more. Could be a lot of active day of prep. From the looks of it, this will be done shortly. And like I said, it's going to give us four. I don't really have a good place to put this down. Will it let me put it? Not sure I can plate it much better than that, so we'll take it as is. I tried your dish the other day, it was to die for.
Oh, same scenario. Asparagus risotto as well. So a lot of things are going to be made day of. I think I have enough time to squeeze out a third recipe. We might as well, especially as I think I might be looking at a single day anyway with this episode. Uh, let's get ahead while we can. I better focus but to make that as skillfully as possible. Get this put away. Clean up that mess. And that is recipe number two. In the books, ready to go for tomorrow. And it looks like we might be looking at a four recipe day tomorrow, potentially. And with potentially 20 customers. And that should still be enough to finish those. So therefore, what do we have? Oven roasted sea bream and vegetables. And we're down to the last row of the restaurant cuisine already starting to push a lot of things ready to upgrade to bistro just haven't uh... just getting through these shopping tasks nice and quick station but we need roasting dish and that's all the ingredients what do we need for seasoning try time we don't have Let's go grab Four, ready for plating. Means we definitely got it done in time. Steaks. I wonder if. Let's see what recipe is it. I wonder if we can put steaks. Well, no, because they'll be cooked. They'll be cooked to what they need to be cooked at made to order. They are quick and easy. That's something I did for a long time. Six more at a time or maximum. Sure. Well, other than the loss that we're going to incur from that and having to do a lot of today's orders on the evening service itself very productive day three recipes complete quickly and easily but not much prep that could be done today anyway i mean really only a single how are you today uh, chef portion of what we are doing on the menu is preparable in advance i think i have enough time for plating for this so let's get into that Part of what we're doing here. That doesn't look too bad. Actually, it really doesn't. It's one of the better plated dishes they have, but the plate itself is just not working. This plate's not great, but it's better. All right. If you know my wife, you know that this is how fish is served. And if you're at a fine restaurant, that's how fish is served, right? I like this one better than uh, definitely some of the recent ones. The, the tomatoes are a little awkward with that setup, but it does work for what we're trying to do here. Mm -hmm. 
and everybody's just coming on the scene so it's that time just about to uh, start the service we'll just go take care of our final dish and packaging these up I'm on it chef don't blink or you'll miss it chef chef all right outside of the steaks that is the first six orders ready to go and as for the the t-bone side of it what are we missing pan fried potatoes okay we need a lot of pan fried potatoes uh, so yeah we'll figure out that part Should have grabbed two of those. And actually, I think I'll take a few for the next couple of orders as we already have one coming up. With help, it's not too bad. The uh, getting those potatoes ready is going to be tricky, but we can get it. We'll get it. We'll be okay. Okay, that's one out. Uh, the other I'm is available, that, chef. no, that's the asparagus. Get my space, please. Thank you. That was not the one I was trying to grab. Too late now. I've already grabbed it. Okay, that's all we needed here. They still only managed to get a B. All those level 14s, they still only cook decently though. A new order, chef. All right, we are going to. Yes, chef. Get a steak ready. And how are we looking on? Jero, can we? Yes. Pan yes, chef. Okay, I have one spare right now. Prepare it to off to the table. Uh, oh shoot, I'm carrying two of these still. Put it down. Put it down. So I need to put them both down, don't I? Hopefully those get warmed back up. Okay, asparagus risotto. Steaks ready. We'll go out one at a time here. All right, 15 customers today. So we're really just getting started. That was number three. And this will be nearly halfway through the day. Seven customers out of 15. Okay, now. We have options. I'm like not doing anything, Chef. Putting these two. So we're prepared for the next bit. That's six and two. Three are cold, the table has so just they ordered. need to go back. 
on the warmer before I serve them. Okay. So let's go put two of these on the warmer. Do we even need e either of them? No. They can all fit on the warmer as well, actually. There's still a slot left over here. Excellent. Okay, we need a... That is absurdly fast compared to how long it takes us to do. It is her specialty. She does have bonuses, but that's crazy. All right, that's going out. Now we need to start replacing some things. Let's start with dishes. And then we are, we want to get one more. Got it, And fried potato coming up. Okay, those are all plated. These are not. Order's coming up, but it hadn't gotten here yet, so we get the uh, last one plated. The new table has ordered. There is their order. Okay, they want two of them and two steaks. So Adele, give me. Okay, chef. No cookware. Available. I'm on it, chef. Don't we'll blink, or you'll miss it. A moment. Now, 11. Got about four customers left on the day. Okay, cleaning. Four customers left on the day. That'll cover three. We'll take our chances. That'll also cover three. That'll cover two. We'll see what we get if we need to make any more. I do not have any more fries. I don't have the utensils Potatoes. I need to do that, chef. Good evening, Chef. I can't thank you enough. Your food was wonderfully sophisticated. Our colleagues were delighted with the whole experience. I'm more than happy to add a little extra to the bill. That was a little side quest event, but Jiro. Oh, that's right. I knew he was going to want to talk to us. We were going to get him to that finish level 14, and then he's ready for his final upgrade. I didn't think I'd like working in your restaurant as much as I do, Chef. Our customers seem open to vegetarian dishes, and you don't find that everywhere. But I now understand that it can be hard to change your eating habits. Given our clientele, I'd like to help them explore more vegetarian flavors. I have a collection of recipes I'd like to contribute to a vegetarian menu uh, while maintaining a high level of excellence in our dishes. Of course, it's not an easy job, chef. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I've got some cleanup to do. We have three additions for the menu, if I remember, because I'm not going to be recording it here in just a second. So uh, if I remember, we're going to have a menu of four come tomorrow, but I think that shouldn't really be a problem. Really shouldn't be a problem. These have already been plated, and I got a steak done, but no potatoes, so okay, fine. That is going to do it for this episode, though, on the Cathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. <laughs> it was done. Okay. I guess it wasn't done. I'm done, though. Bye for now.